Delighted to be here. Good morning, AppSphere. We've heard a number of amazing customer stories this morning. You know, all of your visions, you guys are really paving the way. Your focus on performance, your focus on business metrics, it's incredible. You know, it's such an exciting time. You really feel digital transformation has kicked into another gear. I joined the company about six months ago. I was at Salesforce for a number of years, and I was building all the mobile products and the user experience and the design. And I transitioned from being a, a customer uh, to an employee of AppDynamics, and it couldn't be better. You know, we've been looking at this shift in user experience for years, and we've really entered an incredible time, this era of experience. We've seen the rise of IoT, AI, conversational UX, and more and more of my interactions, they're via voice, they're via APIs. And the incredible thing is these companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon, they continue to invest in performance. They continue to raise the bar and set the expectation even higher. They've kind of created a chasm between the experiences that they can afford to deliver and the ones that maybe other people can. So for millennials and kind of that digital first generation, they've never known anything slower. Think about that. It's incredible. People are calling up their Uber. Oh my gosh, it's going to be four minutes for my Uber. I can't wait four minutes. I could never get a taxi in this town for an hour, and now I can get one in four minutes and I'm impatient. People are on an airplane. They're literally flying through space at 600 miles an hour, and they get on and they want to check their email. And if the Wi-Fi is not perfect, they're frustrated. Oh, I can't go a few minutes without my email. So users have become more instant and more demanding than ever. There's never been a lower barrier to exit. It's just a click away. So this journey, it's pushed every company to accelerate their journey to becoming a software company. You know, the shift in users, it always drives a shift in the business. And increasingly, you know, that's a shift in culture. It's a shift in the culture between business and IT. But what's interesting is when you talk to IT executives, only 53% of them believe that that relationship with line of business is tight. So that's only half of you. But on the business side, only 36% of people think it's really so. So clearly, there is a gap. And I think the interesting question is, you know, as that question has reached the CEO, as it's reached the boardroom, you know, everybody wants to move faster together. And they're starting to ask these questions. You know, are business and IT aligned on the same KPIs, on the same feedback, on the same metrics? How did that new release do? You know, when are we going to know if the business outcomes have actually changed based off of what we've done in the software? And this is a really important concept. We call this concept mean time to business awareness. How fast is your team aware of what's changing? And how fast can you take action and focus? Is it a quarter? Is it weeks? Is it days? Is it minutes? Or can you know in real time? Because knowing in real time, that's what separates the leaders from the laggards in this new economy. And what if you knew in real time you never had a gap? You know, as a CMO, I manage a website. The trials are very important to me. Thank you for trying the product and buying the product. But I'd like to know ASAP if that website is down or having a problem so that I can course correct. You know, as a mobile app owner, if we ship a new release on the App Store and user engagement is down, I don't want to wait weeks or for the bad reviews to start coming in. I want to know in real time. So what's stopping us? Well, it's interesting. Only 29% of businesses feel that they're good at connecting analytics results to those business outcomes. What's stopping us? One of the primary reasons is the tools. They're costly, they're expensive, they're difficult to implement, they're backward looking. You know, I've been doing analysis in the software business for 20 years, and traditional BI can have a very long timeline to get live. You've got the whole release cycle here, that lag in decision making. Oftentimes, making decisions on data that's days, weeks, sometimes even a quarter old, and your mean time to business awareness, it's slow. Log management, it's a very useful diagnostic tool. I've been a user of Splunk for years. And typically, it requires me to have an understanding of the problem in advance. I need to know where to look. And then I need to re-instrument, I need to re-release. And we need to build a correlation between the business events and the technical events. 
And it can get really expensive really fast because log management tools, they store data indiscriminately, which is a great business model for them because they charge you to build the haystack when all you really care about is finding the needle. And you know this doesn't help you when you're trying to do real-time business monitoring. And that's why we've been asking this question, what if you could monitor business performance of apps in real time with a fraction of the effort? What if you could get a picture of your business health and take action faster. And that's why today, we're really excited to be announcing Business IQ, real-time business monitoring. This is the first time that we've really seen application performance and business performance paired together in such an incredible way for you to focus your teams. We believe it's a major complement that allows you to complement your existing analytics tools, your existing logging tools. And for many of you, the customers in the audience, you've been providing us feedback over the past year. You've been on this journey with us as we've invested in analytics. So thank you. Thank you for pushing us and for taking this next step. For some of you in the audience, you're asking, what is Business IQ? I've never heard of this. And what's in it? Well, all the data that you've been capturing through APM, through EEM, through infrastructure monitoring, it's streaming through Business IQ. It's coming into our big data platform, Signal IQ. Now, you can implement more data collectors. You can collect additional business data, additional technical data. And for many of you, the best part is you already know how to use so many things in Business IQ. You know how to do queries, health rules, set up dashboards. But we haven't stopped there. There's a number of things that we needed to make this much more powerful for real-time business monitoring. So with Fall 16, we've added features like funnel analysis, user sessions, and advancements to ADQL so that you can do filtered values and calculated values and get to those complex business questions faster. So our design principle from the beginning has been to close that gap on business awareness. How can we make you go faster? How can we help you focus? And Business IQ, it's real time. No code changes required. It extends our intelligent correlation from, business, from BTs to more event types. And it's efficient. It leverages baselines. So we only store really what you need, which is incredibly useful. And best of all, it's complete. We capture a full set of app, user, and business data we capture successful transactions, but also failed transactions, which are incredibly useful. Because as a marketer, I want to know when something went wrong and who did not have a great experience. So with that, we've done enough slides. Let's go ahead. Let's jump into the product demo. 